We've been taught the important things like integrity, kindness, objectivity, sensitivity, and courage. It has been such an honor to go through this experience in the Academy with you all. I have great confidence that each one of us will go far in our careers, acting on everything we have learned and demonstrating what it means to be smart, successful men and women in law enforcement. Hey everybody, John Van Dyke here for New Jersey Exposed. Today is Sunday, September 5th, 2021. Time is 1.25 p.m. Yes, Jersey time. Okay, I'm going to get right to this story. This has to do with a blue zero here, right here in New Jersey, right in the same county that I live in. He's from Aberdeen Township, and for those of you who don't know about Aberdeen Township, it's a very upper middle class, lily white kind of neighborhood, very low crime type of place, small police department. Okay, so this story here is reported in, on NJ.com. It came out on September 1st, 2021, and it reads as follows. NJ Cop charged with tampering with his own drug tests, deleting video from suspect's phone. There you go. Take a look, cop, cop, uh, cop apologists. Bootlickers, take a good look at that headline, okay? All you local bootlickers, take a look. All right, let's find out what this fine, upstanding, well-trained, dedicated professional who puts that badge on a uniform, proudly wears it, and he's a hero, and he is out there risking our lives as he protects and serves the government has been up to. A police officer in Monmouth County has been charged with tampering with his own drug test and deleting video from a suspect's cell phone, authorities said Wednesday. Well, just reading that first paragraph right there, I know this, this cop here is a bad cop because he's just done two things which are very similar. He is covering up for something bad that he did. Philip M. Santiago, 34, was suspended from the Aberdeen Police Department after his arrest on Tuesday, according to acting Monmouth County Prosecutor Lori Linsky. Now, what makes this story even more interesting and entertaining is Mr. Santiago, prior to being a police officer, was a police dispatcher for Aberdeen Township Police. So. He got to hang around the gang and be part of the gang, but he really wasn't a gang member. He's more like a, he's a wannabe, I guess. Uh, I guess they're testing him to see if he's uh, qualified to be a gang member. So eventually he was able to go to the police academy. And he was did so well and so impressive that his classmates wanted him to give the graduating commencement speech. That's right, folks. He is the graduating class of the Monmouth County Police Academy of 2018, and he gave the commencement speech. Well, isn't that wonderful? And in his speech, he talked about integrity. Wow. Integrity. I wonder how integrity figures into this equation of what he's been up to. Santiago, who lives in Keyport, faces two counts of second-degree official misconduct, Engaging in a pattern of official, official misconduct. Now, these official misconducts are not good, okay? They're not good. And two counts of fourth degree tampering with physical evidence. And an investigation revealed that in January, Santiago tampered with a law enforcement drug test he had been ordered to take. My question is, why was he ordered to take? Was this the standard test he had to take, or they suspected something? Uh, so he took the test, rendering it, rendering it unable to be processed, Linsky said in a statement. So, what happened? You peed in a cup, and uh, you poured somebody else's pee in there? Is that what you did? You put your uh, girlfriend's pee pee in there? The video, uh, while on, uh, here we go, while on duty in May, 
This is recently now. Santiago deleted a video from a cell phone belonging to a person who had been arrested and was in custody at the Aberdeen Police Department. The video had depicted the interaction between the suspect and the officers leading up to the suspect's arrest, Linsky said. So obviously we all know why cops, bad cops, delete video and don't like being recorded because they're bad cops, that's why. I'm sure he did something he wasn't supposed to do. And what is interesting is, I wonder if the other cop in the video uh, dropped a dime on his buddy there. Well, probably went back and told the chief, hey, there's a video there. I, <laughs> he deleted it, I'm not part of that. So it sounds to me like there's a good cop involved here or, or maybe a do-nothing cop, do-nothing good cop that decided he didn't want to be part of any Santiago's crooked shenanigans question is what was on that video that's what i like to know so if the suspect's out there maybe you could contact me at uh, new jersey expose at uh, gmail.com and let us know exactly what was on that video that santiago was so worried about that he had to risk his job and he went and deleted it what did he do what did you do santiago did you punch him a few times? Did you kick him in the head? Did you put a chokehold on him? No doubt you did something. Either you violated his rights, obviously. You did something you weren't supposed to do. And just like your drug test, you wanted to cover it up. You don't want the truth to be known about you. Is that right, Santiago? Santiago turned himself into authorities on Tuesday and was released pending a court hearing in Superior Court of Monmouth County. The police officer's attorney did not immediately return a call seeking comment on the arrest. The investigation was handled by members of the prosecutor's professional responsibility and by his crime unit, Linsky said. Well, Santiago, how long did it take you? Let's see, you, you graduated the police academy in 2018. You got hired as a police officer. And by the way, Santiago, this will be the best job you ever have. Kiss your $91,000 a year job goodbye, Santiago. Simply because you are acting like a bad cop. And if that other officer that was with you, that was in the video, if he turned you in, let's give him a thumbs up and a, and a clap for him for doing the right thing. You know, Santiago, you really created a real... Uh, you really created a real atmosphere around you, didn't you? You did your little speech at the commencement, and you talked about how proud you were and how great it was and what a great person you are and all the great people around you that helped you become a police officer. That's right, they helped you, Santiago, and you let them down. You embarrass your police chief. You embarrass your fellow workers on the department. And there you are, all because you could not be a good cop. It was too hard for you. What were you doing that you were so worried about your drug test, Santiago? What'd you do? You smoke a little marijuana? Were you a drinker? You like to drink? I know you like to uh, pull people over and arrest women for drink, drunk driving. I looked up to see what kind of arrest you made. Yeah, you're not, you're not very impressive, I can tell you that. You got yourself a couple DUI arrests that you did. So what'd you fail for? Marijuana? Cocaine? Heroin? Which one is it, Santiago? I'm curious, why don't you just come clean? Why don't you just come clean? Why don't you go to the chief and say, look, I'm not gonna pass this test, I screwed up. But you're too stupid, isn't that right, Asantea? You're too stupid. Now, I'm gonna say this, I said this in another video one time. You're out there, do I've said plenty of videos. You're out there being stupid. <clears throat> you are better off Go to the chief and say, hey, chief, in your case, Santiago, say, chief, you know what? Smoked a little pot. Maybe I did a little cocaine. Whatever the deal is, I got a little problem. I'm not going to pass the test. Maybe you got to go to the chief and say, you know, that video was not too good. And I, and I deleted it. I realized it really was a smart thing to do. I just jeopardized a good job. I don't know about a good job, but a well-paying job. But instead, you cheated, you lied, you used deception to co try to cover your tracks. And that right there is going to get you fired. As far as I'm concerned, you should be fired now, Santiago, because you are a bad cop. My advice to you right now, Santiago, 
is to resign from your job. I suggest you go hire uh, Jake Pascucci's attorney. You know Jake Pascucci, the drunk from Long Branch? I suggest you go hire his lawyer. He guy, he saved that guy from going to prison. So that's what I would do to you. I'd resign. I'd make a deal and see if you can just get it down to one charge, maybe the tampering with evidence thing. And then when you get down to one charge, maybe you can get into the first offenders program. In a couple of years, you finish that up, you have a clean slate, maybe you can go get yourself as a, a security guard at the Walmart. Because the way I see it, you're done. You're done. You're gonna go to prison where you belong, Santiago. And by the way, Abertine Township, I looked on their Facebook, absolutely no mention of this. So I question that. What is going on over there at Aberdeen Township? Huh, Chief? What's the issue there that you couldn't come out and own this problem? Just come out and tell the public, hey, we had a bad cop here. He got caught. We suspended him. He's been arrested. We don't condone this kind of behavior. We don't want these kind of cops on our force. And we want the public to know that we're not going to tolerate that. But you don't. You're, you're silent on it. So what's the deal? Are you protecting him? You got some little thing here now for the Santiago guy? You, you don't want to talk about it? Because not many people probably know about it unless they're reading NJ.com or they're reading some kind of news they can find out. And then we got a bootlegger. I posted on the on Aberdeen Township Police Department's Facebook page because they didn't announce it. They have no problem trashing you. You get arrested in their town, they have no problem put your picture up there, your name, and broadcast to everybody on Facebook what you did. But boy, it comes to wrong. They're not talking about it, right? So I went there and I posted that on there. And wouldn't you know, we had a bootlicker chimed in. And give me a second here, people. I'll see if I can bring this up real quick. Because I'm, I'm up to here with these bootlickers. You know, they're one half the equation of these bad cops, these bootlickers. Let me see if I can find him real quick. I suspect that he might have deleted. Yeah, I don't see it on here. What happened? Looks like he might have deleted his, uh... Yeah. Well, anyway, if I can find it, I'll put it on right after this. I'll insert it in there. But it's a bootlicker on came on. His name was uh, Brian Rappaport. And he got on there and attacked me, called me a troll, told, called me a cop hater. See, this is one of the attackers that the cop, the cop sucking blue ball tossers, the bootlickers. The cop apologists will do. They will attack you. They don't want you to talk about bad cops because they don't want the message out there. They want everybody to think that the police are just wonderful, darling people. And as we've all learned and come to know, there's a large portion of them that are not. But he attacked me and called me a troll and a cop hater. And uh, I called him a, uh, a boot polisher who enables and condones bad policing. So I looked him up, I looked at his Facebook page, and there he was, sure enough, back to blue bullshit on there. And then I saw he, uh, every time the police put some kind of uh, posting on there, he's on there, back to blue, back to blue, well done, guys. So he's a real bootlicker, and I guess he's afraid of something. You know, I guess, uh, I guess, I don't want the story to be about him, but these, these cop gandas, these cop lovers that just, turn a blind eye to the bad crap that goes on. They're one half of the equation because they're the ones that don't want me to talk about it. This is one thing I've learned, these bad cop enablers, they do not want you to talk about bad cops. And they will attack you with name calling and, and everything else. So, Okay, so Mr. $91,000 a year police officer Philip M. Santiago, only on the job, three years, and he's already made the distinct uh, making the list of the Blue Zero Heroes here in Monmouth County. He did something to screw up his uh, drug test. I suspect he put somebody else's PP in there instead. So he screwed his drug test up, got something to hide there, and him and another officer arrested somebody or was interrogating somebody, and that person had the camera up. And it's funny how the camera always exposes a bad cop, either directly or indirectly. A camera, it's just, camera's like a magnet for bad cops, and it caught Santiago. Santiago obviously was doing something he shouldn't have done. Maybe it's a false arrest, who knows? 
Maybe the good cop will come clean. Maybe somebody on the inside of Aberdeen Township could uh, honestly uh, message me or post something on there as to what's going on because uh, I'm not going to bother with an open request. They're going to tell you it's in a pending investigation. So, anyway, another bad cop, another blue zero hero here in Monmouth County has made the list. I'll put the link in the description and you can read the story yourself. And, uh, oh yeah, I will, uh, right after this, I will include uh, Mr. Santiago's commencement speech when he graduated from the Monmouth County Police Academy. And uh, we'll put a link to his Facebook page too. I found that. So, and a link to uh, Aberdeen Township Police Department. I would encourage everybody to go to Aberdeen Police Department and express yourself. Let you know, let them know how you feel about the, their uh, blue zero hero over there. It's just that they don't want to talk about it, but that doesn't mean we can't post it. We can't talk about it. I'm John Van Dyke from New Jersey Exposed. Until next time, people. Each class has chosen a spokesperson. The 94th basic class has chosen Philip Santiago, Aberdeen Township Police Department. Good evening. I'd like to start by thanking Brookdale Community College for hosting this commencement tonight. To our families, friends, and honored guests, thank you for being here to, today to witness the graduation of the Monmouth County Police Academy's 94th Basic Course for Police Officers. For us, today is the culmination of months of work, dedication, and mental and physical toughness. Today we feel pride and reap the rewards of our efforts. We feel a great deal of satisfaction and what we've accomplished since January 16, 2018. Along with this pride and satisfaction in our work, we also feel an overwhelming amount of humility and gratitude towards those who have contributed to our success. On behalf of Class 94, I'd like to thank all of our families, all of our spouses, parents, in-laws, significant others, and all other relatives that have shown us this level of support throughout this whole ordeal. We are humbled and grateful for everything you've done for us. I would also like to thank those people who have worked hard to see us succeed in this academy. I would like to specifically thank Director Breckenridge and his team of training officers, drill instructors, and PT instructors. You all have done so much to make sure we will receive the absolute best instruction and experience possible. You all have gone the extra mile to ensure that each one of us is personally prepared for the job we will soon begin. Since the beginning of the Academy, we have learned countless techniques, tactics, and procedures that will help us throughout our careers. But even more than the practical aspects of police work, we've been instructed on how to be smart men and women, smart, successful men and women of law enforcement. We've been taught the important things like integrity, kindness, objectivity, sensitivity, and courage. It has been such an honor to go through this experience in the Academy with you all. I have great confidence that each one of us will go far in our careers, acting on everything we have learned and demonstrating what it means to be smart, successful men and women of law enforcement. May God bless you all. Thank you.